It is not cheating to prepare your witnesses. In fact, it is a good idea to practice your questions with your witnesses. You don't want any surprises. Also, the more comfortable and organized your witnesses are, the better they will help your case. Here are some things you should cover with your witnesses. Remind them to tell the truth. It is okay if they can't remember or don't know something. It is common for people to forget things. It's much better to say, I don't know, than to make something up. Tell your witnesses what questions you will be asking them. Listen to their answers carefully. Try to guess what questions the other side will ask. Be aware of any criminal convictions or substance abuse problems that your witness may have. The other side could use that information to try to prove that your witness is lying or biased or unreliable. Warn your witness that the other side could do this. After you practice, reevaluate whether your witness's testimony will really be helpful to your case. Remember, it is your choice whether or not to call a witness. Be aware of what is called the witness exclusion rule. You or the opposing party can ask the court to have witnesses who have not yet testified wait outside the courtroom until they are called to testify. Debbie, you know I'm involved with a, a divorce case and child custody case with my husband, and I wanted to call you as a witness. So thanks for spending time with me to help prepare for the questions that I may be asking you. I have some notes here that I'm going to follow so I don't miss anything. So when you get to court, the uh, court clerk, uh, they will place you under oath. What you will need to remember as a witness is to always tell the truth. I will ask you some questions, my husband will ask you some questions, and the judge can ask questions of any witness at any time. So please just try to remember to answer the questions as best as you can. Okay, um, I can't tell you what to say, but I can practice with you to help prepare for the questions that I may ask, okay? The questions that I'm going to ask you are direct exam questions. Um, my husband will ask you questions, and those questions are called cross-examination. Okay, so far? Yes, I'm happy to help you get through the trial. Thank you. So I'm going to read to you some of the questions that I will be asking you, okay? Okay. How do you know me? How long have we known each other? Do you know my children? How do my children behave when they st they've stayed with you? Um, do you have an opinion on which parent, me or my husband, is best able to provide for the children's needs? By that, what I mean is um, who meets the children's needs as far as love and security for them, mm -hmm. okay? So before um, we discuss your answers to these questions, I just want to remind you to answer all questions honestly. Um, but you don't have to volunteer any information beyond answering the question as simple as possible, okay? Uh, don't worry if you don't know the answer to the question. It's okay to say that I don't know or I don't remember. So do you have any questions so far? Well, wh what if I don't understand the question? Um, if you don't understand, then it's okay to just say I don't understand your question okay. or would you please ask it again, okay? All right. All right, do you have any other questions so far? No, I, I think I understand. Okay. 